So when Dwayne The Rock Johnson said the power of the hierarchy of the DCEU is about to change, did he actually know it was going to be officially called the DCU, the DC Universe by David Zaslav in an internal memo? So David Zaslav changed the name of the DCEU to the DC Universe. And now we have the new hierarchy, which is James Gunn and Pete Saffron. And I don't think The Rock's happy about it. Why? His company, Seven Bucks Productions, his partners, have all congratulated James Gunn and Pete Saffron. And The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, hasn't said anything, even though he's actively still talking to fans and t replying to fans on Twitter. I don't think he's happy. Yo, what is freaking good, YouTube? What's you here with a video on the future? We've got to change it of the DCU. If you are new around it, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content that we try to do on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and let me know down below what is going on in the DC universe. So let's break it down. So I hate to say it, even with Henry Cavill being all in with Superman, He's been bombarded with questions to the point where he's actually getting annoyed repeating himself. Okay, he's, he's too nice of an English gentleman to get annoyed, but you can see he's getting a bit irritated answering the exact same question when asked about Superman at the Enola Holmes 2 press junket for Netflix. So even putting super, I won't call him Henry Drizzle. I know you guys keep getting annoyed at it. I read the comments. So even putting Henry Cavill Superman into the post credit scene that literally has nothing to do with the main narrative of the Black Adam movie, which we here on the channel, we did a review. I really like the movie, but realistically putting Henry Cavill into a post credit scene did absolutely nothing for the numbers. So we are two weekends in 11 days, $250 million. So. The movie reportedly has a budget of $195 million. Although realistically, they shot it. I've shot this movie in Canada. Vancouver would have been much cheaper. They filmed most of it in ATO Atlanta. It's not even made its money back. We have Wakanda Forever Black Panther 2 coming out next Friday. A week this Friday. This movie is only just on track with Shazam. And we have people trying to be positive. I'm not going to be positive about the box office numbers because realistically, you've had Dwayne The Rock Johnson telling everyone for weeks and weeks that literally Superman is in this movie. Yes, we get it. Henry Cavill Superman is very popular to the point, and I will address this to the point where now he's not going to be shooting The Witcher Season 4. He's no longer Geralt, not Geralt. You clearly ain't a fan of the book or actually watch the show. It's Geralt. He isn't Geralt anymore as of season four. Because he's playing Superman, no jabronis. It's not. Why would that? Honestly, that is the most stupid explainer I've seen out there. Realistically, if you look into it, they were going too far away from the source material. Everyone else on The Witcher show has had their contracts renegotiated for season four. Which tells you, even though Henry Cavill promised seven seasons, the initial contract was for three seasons. So it's pretty much looking like they were turning the source material, going too far away from it. So it's a joke. Sure, Superman might, he might have had a little bit to play. It might have had a tiny part to play. But no, he didn't turn down Witcher season four, five, six because of Superman. That's the most stupid answer ever. And you guys have asked me to talk about it. So there you go. There's my little explainer. It's officially out there that Henry Cavill was not happy with the way the show was going. Henry's a geek. World of Warcraft. He's an absolute geek. If it goes away from the source material, he literally begged them to get him on Witcher. He begged the show. He begged Netflix to hire him. And then he gave up the role. And I feel sorry for Liam's Hemworth because it's not his fault. Season four will suck because Henry Cavill is Geralt. But he's also Superman and he's also doing a bunch of other movies. He's doing a Guy Ritchie war movie that's shooting in, it's shooting in January, probably shoot till March, April. And everyone's like, oh, Man of Steel 2 is going to be fast track. All right. So they've allegedly got a producer 
Charles Roven. There's no script. There's no director. There's literally nothing. But because Henry Cavill keeps talking about it, you guys seem to think they're going to start shooting this movie next year. Well, I actually think they do as well. But let's just hope they get the script perfect. So Henry Cavill wants a lighter, brighter version of Superman, which essentially we've already known this because before he returned, although he didn't actually go anywhere, he said this years ago at Ace Comic Con. But telling these stories is about, it's about your enjoyment. It's about my enjoyment. It's about enjoyment for the viewer. And so we could spend four hours of movie explaining why and how Clark comes back. But is that what you want to see? No, right. I mean, if I, if I had billions and billions and billions of dollars and I could make six movies a year all based on Superman, then yeah, we can go for that. You like, sure. you like Game of Thrones yeah. Trilogy. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but, <laughs> can I borrow some money? <laughs> Just oh, this go. one's gone off as well. Um, hello? Hello. hello. There we go. Oh, <laughs> money. <laughs> Yeah, it's all well said. Well, nice conversation, don't mention politics or money. Um, so, yeah, I, I, they, they, we all work something out. He said it years ago. So I almost feel like Henry Cavill's literally repeating stuff he's been saying for years, and fake Superman fans who are all over the Twitter sphere, who have big followings, who want clout, keep talking about it now, but I'm like, where were you years ago? You're so fake. The problem with social media and pop culture specifically is, as soon as a character returns or becomes popular again, you get loads of social media YouTubers, TikTok and stuff, claiming they're the biggest Superman fan ever. I was like, okay, so where were you two, three years ago when I kept saying, Henry Cavill's not going anywhere? Where were you then? Exactly, you were nowhere. So fake. Social media is so fake. Everyone loved the Superman Henry Cavill return. But I hate to agree with Grace Randolph. I do hate to agree with her. I don't agree with her on 90% of things. But when she says, Henry Cavill Superman fans have not paid with your money, no, you haven't. Because if this Superman scene, I know it's two seconds long, but if these diehard Superman fans actually went to the cinema, it would not be sat on $250 million after two weekends. But, but it's on course with Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi flopped. But it, it's on course with Eternals. Eternals flop. Stop comparing Black Adam to Marvel movies. We're not in that world anymore, you know. You could arguably say that Shang-Chi and Eternals release post whatever happened in the world. I won't say it because you could get demonetized on the platform. But the world is fully open to the point where this movie was released in 4,402 theatres. $250 million. Now, Black Adam could make a lot of money if it gets a Chinese release. Internationally, we'll pull it. Domestically, it's pretty much going to be dead. As soon as Black Panther Wakanda Forever comes out, that movie will most likely bang over $250 million globally in the opening weekend. I just hate to say it. The Rock was promoting so much. The marketing was so bad. I don't know what they could have done, but they literally like, yo, Superman is in the post credit scene, and still, it barely stroked $100 million opening week and weekend. Like, I'm a Black Adam fan. I think it's cool. But the issue here is Black Adam is such a minor character in the DC universe. He's kind of irrelevant. So I don't really understand. I do actually understand from a high level. Okay, we get it. Black Adam, Teeth Adam has to say Shazam to either gain powers or goes revert back to being a child. But essentially, where the freaking hell was the Shazam story? Shazam! I should have had a much larger role in Black Adam. And I honestly think the ignorance of not having Shazam in Black Adam is the downfall of the critics part and the downfall of why some people didn't like the movie because let's be honest, Shazam is Black Adam. One's They are the same person. One's evil, one is good. It's just that freaking simple lads and ladettes why did it go down like that where was he i get it the rock wanted shazam to get his own origin and black adam to get his own origin but that as the time recording this i don't think the black adam is gonna match what shazam did but man of steel didn't do man of steel got 660 million dollars and it's a Zack snyder movie and black adam unless it gets released in china won't come close to that i hope black adam destroys Man of Steel's numbers, even because it's literally like a Man of Steel ripoff to a certain degree. You have, you know, the 300 kick, you have the slow-mo scenes, the, the almost Man of Steel 
Zod for your fight, and still it didn't do that. It didn't do that. Henry Cavill confirms he chose to use the Black Adam suit. I chose that one in particular because of nostalgia attached to the suit. It was incredibly important to me to just be standing there enjoying the moment. Yeah, because Henry Cavill did not know, even when he did the Black Adam scene, if he was going to get multiple other roles, although everyone keeps saying he knew, he knew. So I don't, this is an exclusive. Henry Cavill wants to be Superman. That inspires the most important thing. It's for the audience to leave the cinema to feel like they can fly, to feel like they can protect the feel they want to give to everyone else. Okay, that's literally just Superman from the comics. Uh, I don't know Screen Rant, verified on Twitter. Not that that means a lot because as of November the 10th, you can buy a verification for $20 a month. Really? So you're just saying that Superman wants to inspire people. Isn't that the whole reason behind Superman? I don't really understand. That's literally the idea behind him. He's supposed to be an alien from the planet of Krypton. Krypton explodes and he comes to Earth and it's his new home and he wants to protect and inspire everyone. That's somewhat the role. And Henry Cavill said in an interview with the Entertainment Tonight, it's my duty to make sure I do the Justice character for Man of Steel 2. And some people think because he keeps saying, I can't talk about Man of Steel 2, I can't talk about the next Superman movie, that Henry Cavill knows exactly what's going on with the movie. No, because they've literally publicly said there is no script, there is no director. Sure, bro, Henry Cavill's had ideas for years. Zack Snyder wanting to bring the Kryptonian Brainiac into the equation, and yeah, to be fair, that would have been the best storyline. And to be fair, at this point, I think Zack Snyder could return. I really think Zack Snyder could return to shoot the two direct Man of Steel 2. But if that's the case, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for Man of Steel 2. I'm not saying Henry Cavill and Zack Snyder are going to work together, but uh, you never know. The kind of, I can't wait to work with you again, Henry. First did uh, Man of Steel, and we were doing the flying shots for the first time, and we put you in the belly pan or on the wires. Uh, I can't remember which we did first. Did it feel odd to be, you know, just there in front of the green screen, doing your flying? You know, shots, you know, with us just touching the camera and uh, you having to act like you're flying, but, you know, before you had ever seen what it might look like or what it might feel like, was that, how was that? Was that odd or, and did you expect it to turn out the way it did? So that's my question. Um, I can't wait to work with you in the future. And you are, of course, the greatest Superman ever. He's a lovely man. Yes. He's a lovely man. And I'm, I'm enormously appreciative of, of um, everything he's, he's done for me, by, especially by casting me in Man of Steel. Um, those are uh, formative memories of mine, uh, career-wise. It was when everything changed. And I remember them fondly. Yeah. I remember fondly hanging above fields. <laughs> in, it was Illinois, and uh, uh, just outside of Plano. Um, amazing memories and a lot to be thankful for. So, uh, Zach, if you're watching um, on one of these many cameras, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. That he said during the interview on the podcast that he did live last week. Is it a conspiracy? James Gunn's very good friends. And yes, I see the clip going around. They'd share a beer together. So they're busy friends. That does not mean the Snyderverse is going to be restored. But quite frankly, I actually do think the Snyderverse will be restored to somewhat degree. Hearing inside information from behind the scenes. But this video isn't about the Snyderverse. But off the cuff, if you made it, let's have a look. If you made it like 12 minutes in, you'll, you'll know this. Comment down below. Yeah. Another video later in the week, I've, I've heard some stuff about the Snyderverse returning. And no, this ain't your geekosity, throwing darts at a wall, made up nonsense. I've honestly heard some stuff behind the scenes, which I may share in a video, I may not. It depends if you guys want me to. So, Henry Cavill is all in. Black Adam has flopped, sadly. And the DCU is going to be run by James Gunn and Pete Saffron, who was the producer of Shazam, which makes Shazam 2 even more prevalent because it's got to do well because the new co-head of DC is the producer and will continue to produce movies for the DCU. The Rock is not happy with that story. He's like, yeah, we're going to find someone to take charge. I don't think The Rock personally knew. I really don't think he knew because why hasn't he congratulated them? He's like, yeah, whoever comes in, they're going to help us and we're going to do all this stuff. Well, The Rock may have Hollywood power, but if the Black Adam movie flopped, which realistically, as I keep saying, $250 million, it's going to have to make somewhere between 550 to 600 
because what happens is you get a budget for the movie, which is just under $200 million. Let's say marketing budget's 100, 200, that's 400, small percentage. It goes week by week by week. The cinema gets a massive percentage and then the money. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So in other words, it's got to make over $500 million to break even. I mean, this movie doesn't even look like it costs more than Shazam. Why do they shoot in Vancouver? Why do they go to ATO Atlanta? It's more expensive. You should always shoot in cheaper locations to make more money. That's basic business. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wall to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. And I will catch you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch you later.